Good morning. Uh, it's about oh, seven o'clock here on a Tuesday morning um, in August. It's been pretty hot these last few days. Um, yeah, and I've been uh, thinking this morning about uh, the kids start school here coming up uh, here in a, about a week out, a little over a week, and uh, wanted to. Uh, Get some type of a morning prayer for school that's uh, going to be part of their uh, daily routine, as as we call it. Uh, and uh, so, anyhow, prayer back in school. Bring your children home and teach them there. Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot I could say there. Uh, but that, that's not what this video is about. So, anyhow. Um, so, I was just thinking, similar to our pledge of the United States of America, that we could do something like, uh, I pledge allegiance to the Lord, for He alone is perfect. Um, one God, through the name of salvation in Jesus, indivisible not divided he is one hero Israel the Lord our God is one Lord Deuteronomy 6 and 4 um, anyhow something along those lines we'll get it figured out and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get this thing uh, settled up good and have a good good little uh, little poem saying or quote or a prayer and uh, so anyhow uh, yeah we we had spoke about faith last week and of those trains second one this morning I guess they're busy this morning anyhow we spoke on faith faith is more of what you do and is actually really what you do that professes or confesses your faith or what you say um, and James wrote it very well man say he hath faith without works I'll show you my faith by my works now, a lot of people try to twist this around and say oh no we don't have works we don't no that's that's different It's not of works, lest any man should boast. It's not. It's through grace, faith in the Lord. And that's talking strictly about salvation. Not after you've come to know the Lord. <laughs> um, and this is, a, this is a, a crux that people try to use, or a crutch. I don't know, I think crux is the better word, but that they try to use to say oh I don't have to do that I'm not perfect just forgiven that's another uh, way to say hey I can live any old way I want it's not my works it's Jesus's and he said I'm saved by grace and that means anything I do is is taking work away from him and that's not true um, that is a trick of the devil and stupidity on your part um, not only stupidity but selfishness uh, because that is exactly what Jesus said we must deny ourself pick up our cross deny ourself uh, put aside our thoughts learn his ways and uh, walk in his path well, that path that he walked was the path of humility um, we don't need to die for anyone's sins his blood was good for once and for all um, so that is the grace um, lest any man should boast as far as that goes um, I can get married I can sign my name to a piece of paper I can uh, 
make a, uh, a commitment. And I can go back on that commitment. How I act will validate my marriage. And vice versa. Um, if I act well, it shows a, a, a good commitment. And I've been faithful to that. Um, if I act single still, chase another, have an eye for other women, um, then that would be in violation of a proper commitment. So, in that, Folks come to the Lord or think they come to the Lord. Good intentions to come to the Lord and stay in the Lord. Um, but their actions don't line up. And this this uh, demonic, devilish uh, lie, deception from many, many preachers, I'd say most, says that... Uh, we don't have to uh, change. We don't have to represent our faith. But what we believe in our heart, that Jesus exists. And uh, I don't know how many people think the devil's going to be saved, but it's not written anywhere I've read that he will be, or ever will be. Um, and that the Bible said the devil believes that there's one God and does tremble. So, believing that there's a God and he exists does not equal salvation um, for you. Um, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord, thou shalt be saved. I don't know what, what you think those shalt be. Hey, you work all week and you will get a paycheck. It will happen. It will be in your account. You shall get a paycheck if you work all week. And if you believe, as the scripture hath said, just like uh, talks about getting the Holy Ghost, as the scripture has said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Um, a lot of people ain't doing it as the scripture said. And that confirmation of the Holy Ghost, that spirit, which uh, will validate and will be in concert with the true word of God. And I say that very, very carefully. Um, because if it don't jive with Jesus, it ain't Jesus. If it quacks like a duck, barks like a dog, it is what it looks like. So, in that, you might want to think about where you're at, what you're being taught, who's teaching it. Uh, so, there's a lot more to all this. But yet, it's so simple. So, I don't mean there's a lot more complication. I mean, there's probably some over simplicity to this because the Lord said though a wayfaring man he shall not err in it uh, so what does that mean uh, he means that it's clear <laughs> it's 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 on the information board and the highway it's very open and clear of what Jesus meant somehow The scripture has been twisted. And they twist the scripture. The apostles even said that. The apostles, even, even in Revelation, talking about the, the seven churches. You see in a couple of those churches that the Lord warns them about those that claim to be apostles and are not. And... Uh, you should be very, very wary of that. Um, there was call-outs in that. Uh, 
I'm talking names. The Nicolaitans, um, Balaam. So we know that Jesus picked twelve disciples, uh, called them apostles, built on the apostles, prophets, Jesus Himself, and in this this statement. I believe it to be Jesus by himself was the head or chief and chief cornerstone of that foundation. What is the foundation? If I was to um, proclaim something, say I said I did some miracles, I did some uh, things, I created some stuff. Uh, I invented some stuff. Well, along that process, someone could say, hmm, well, I don't believe you. I don't think you invented that. You probably got it from someone else. I just don't think it's you. And through that process, how do you validate? Well, do you have any witnesses? Did anyone see you do it? Was anyone along for the for the ride? Did, is there any documentation? Hmm. Do you have a witness? And I suppose that's probably the strongest evidence that you could have in a court setting. You know, we do that in marriage. Um, need a witness to sign. Uh, even at the courthouse, you have to have a witness. Um, so to make that official document or make that document, document official, you need a witness. So when you look at that, and, and, and outside of, well, I mean, really the, the, the full um, scripturally that I can find um, the purpose of the apostles was a witness to Jesus and his miracles and his doings and sayings um, and just like you and I they are working out they were through the book of Acts working out their own salvation with fear and trembling they were trying to put it all together and, and trying to find what they were to do and they had several characters I say characters um, who came along and you can read that in the book of Acts and then one one that I'm talking about mainly is Paul who came along um, And through our reading and what we have available to us today, um, uh, many of his, um, the story of Paul, um, and in many ways, Paul parallels to Jesus' story. Um, and, and I say this lightly because I know people... They 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 don't get it. I I Paul was not an apostle. Um, I find it nowhere in the scripture, outside of his own testimony of of what he felt he was, um, that he was part of that twelve. Um, scripturally, you cannot outside of Paul's own pronounce pronouncing. Um, say that Paul was an apostle um, one of the twelve when I when I say apostle that's the ones that have their name on the gates of heaven um, so pretty sure he's not going to have his name on the gates of heaven um, he was called just like you and I. I I really believe that he was in his time for what he was supposed to do 
And I think he did have a special purpose, but that didn't make him an apostle. Um, the miracle that the Lord did by showing himself to him, instructing him, um, was his experience. Um, to my recollection of any reading, um, there were no witnesses. This was his account. Um, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't see anywhere in the scripture where Paul says, ask so-and-so. He was there. They were there. Uh, they saw this. Um, I'm talking about when he was knocked off of the horse or whatever he was riding on the road to Damascus, if he was uh, riding, I'm saying. Um, I believe scripture says that. But... My point, where's his witness? Where is the validation of this happening? And I'm not saying it didn't happen. I, I'm going to, just like many others, are, are going to give him that benefit of the doubt. Uh, I don't doubt it. I read it. I, I felt that it was, you know, I've always believed what he said. I have no reason to doubt him. He has contributed so much in Scripture. Um Although I think a lot of it, many people have taken as commandments, and I don't believe they are commandments. Um, again, these these men were, were working, trying to find the will of God in their life, uh, their purpose. Jesus told them what to do. Go and tell the world. Be a witness unto me. Um, tell them what you've seen, what you heard, what, you, what you've learned of me. Um, and... On occasion, like the commission to Peter that Jesus gave, um, the Holy Ghost came on him in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, when they said, what shall we do to be saved? And that's when Peter um, said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. That is where the keys to the kingdom was invoked. And that's where I feel that uh, Jesus gave him that. And that was the gift. Um, that was that change that Jesus spoke of to Nicodemus in John 3 and 3 through 5 um, or 8. You'll find that story there. So that is exactly where Jesus told Nicodemus and he wasn't going to let the cat out of the bag, so to speak. He was definitely... Uh, making prophecy and giving us a validation or hint of what was to come uh, because Jesus had not left and the Holy Ghost had not come yet and he uh, voiced that to the disciples at one point um, so when you look at that you're going to see that that's a validation of what Peter said spoke in uh, the book of Acts 1st 238 um So, yeah, that's that's kind of there. And when I see that, it's very clear that uh, those things happen, and that was what Jesus meant. Um, so all that stuff ties together uh, very well and the meaning of such. So I, I think that that's, that's a solid um, in there. Um, however, I see many areas where the... Uh, the solid's not there uh, for Paul, which is why I feel that the book of Acts is not commandment-based. Um, it gives a framework. If you wanted to have some type of building, um, I don't believe Jesus sanctioned that building in that way. Um, his church is in spirit and in truth. Uh, he made that very clear to the woman at the well. Um, and so there you are with with that um a lot of this other stuff and I, I tell you a lot of this other stuff and most of um if not all and the very existence and premise of having a church building and telling people are you in church then you're saved or you're not saved if you're not in church is is a lie from hell 
and it is from ignorant people who don't understand the scripture it is from deceivers deceptors um, from these organizations um, and it is of the world worldly they are building their own kingdom they're not building God's kingdom um, Jesus said it's not meat and drink um, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink um, yet they will that's that's pretty much what they're all about meat and drink and then what that means to the world worldly um, any man love the world love of the Father is not in him and, and I, you know we could go all around this here but uh, the bottom line is is that Jesus didn't sanction a church building he didn't sanction uh, attendance to church um, if you want to listen to some of my other videos you can find that uh, in those videos to where um, I explain that stuff to you uh, and show you exactly that just because someone says oh well you got the money to um, buy your drugs but you can't buy your baby some milk well I said, oh, wait, I heard him say he got the money to buy drugs, and he, he validated that. No, I didn't say it was okay. I just explained what you did in a comparison of why, if you can do that, you should be able to do this. I didn't say it was okay to do it, but that's the way people take scripture. Um, just because Jesus was in the temple teaching, <laughs> they assumed that he went to church no he he went there to give them a chance to know that he was here he was that prophecy in isaiah he was the messiah um, they rejected him they put him on the cross and killed him so i don't know you want to go to church after that i mean you want to be part of that building after that i mean that's where it happened that's where it began um, they didn't believe him. They had their own thing going, as many churches do. You you walk in and nobody's going to give you uh, a platform in their church. They've got their own rules, and it's not Bible rules. It's 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 their corporate rules. It's that pastor's uh, ways and thoughts. It's nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus couldn't even walk in there and and, and start preaching. He could not go in there and speak. You'd have to go through their three-step or a three-week program to to understand how the church works and how the oh it's how the pastor works. It's what the pastor wants you to do and think. So it has nothing to do with God. Um, I went back to an old church, um, which was totally not really what I left. Uh, um, but anyhow, <laughs> I, I I had to go back through and. Uh, go through this little three-step program get detoxed I guess I don't know but anyhow no <laughs> it's a get programmed you know hey this is the guy now this is who you got to listen to not Jesus um, yeah so anyhow yeah everybody's in their places everybody's got their uh, got their deal going on you know make themselves feel good and impotent and uh, you know I mean to be over you so you know, you got to look up to them because uh, they're, they're something. They're something. And uh, all in the name of Jesus, all in the name of God, right? Well, anyhow, uh, if you do go to church, I'm glad you're uh, seeking after God. Uh, he's not in the church, uh, as we call a church today. Um, God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Um, there is not very much truth in, in the so-called buildings anymore. Uh, I, I'm not saying people didn't have pure hearts to try to make something of this. And, you know, just don't call it God's church. It's not. Um, God's church is those that uh, worship him in spirit and in truth. And when you worship and adore someone, you please them. And if we're not pleasing God, we're not part of his church. Um, so that's what we've got to, we well, got to focus on my neighbor. We, we can't just, just show up at a, at a, at an assembly or, or a, a 
building. So in those things, you, you've really got to, my dog going after a squirrel, sorry about that, but you know, it's sad. And I guess it's it's somewhat of a show of faith, but it's faith in horses and chariots. It's not faith. It's it's of the world worldly. Um, and you know, I'm gonna end here, but just seek the Lord, and He will be found to you. And uh, if you're listening, hey, you're probably already, he's probably already talked to you and it's moving, you're probably moving his way. And, and uh, that's what matters. Not some church attendance. I would have been faithful to the church and, you know, I'll pay my tithes and, you know, listen to some of our stuff on YouTube. It, tithing is not required. Uh, it is not even for us, and I, 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 I almost fear that those that do are literally um, I don't know giving giving tribute to idols, and I say that very seriously because the coin <laughs> Jesus told him said whose subscription or inscription is on the on this coin it said Caesar then you're rendering to Caesar what Caesar's uh, you're just keeping out of trouble you're not serving God through that uh, so anyhow just just pray and his spirit will lead and guide you his spirit if he's calling you if he has called you and uh, something that seems off or amiss, um, and even if it don't, see where you could get closer to God. So, anyhow, thank you for listening to this guy talking today, and uh, I hope it helps someone. And I really hope that. Uh, Someone gets some good out of this and, and, and finds the Lord and, 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 and digs a deeper deeper place in the Lord. Um, let roots grow in your faith in Jesus. And, uh, God bless you and be well. <laughs>